Fingerprint 43,000 years old left by Nindera of the In central Spain, scientists came across complete fingerprint left by the Neanderthal. It's only the second discovered fingerprint of our extinct cousins and the first to be made on purpose. Scientists say 43,000 years ago, a Neanderthal dipped his finger in red abel and made a nose on a stone whose shape resembled the face. The discovery provides new evidence for Neanderthal's cognitive abilities and shows that our relatives also saw faces in inanimate objects a phenomenon known as pareidolia. First partial fingerprint of Neanderthal's finger in resin in Koenigsau, Germany, but the newly discovered one is complete and produces it was made intentionally. Scientists suggest that about 43,000 years ago Neanderthal in the place that is currently central Spain, came across for a large stone, the contours and cavities that caught his attention, because they were similar to an elongated face. The Neanderthal picked it up, assessed it and eventually imprinted his finger immersed in the red pill in the place where he should there's a nose on that face. The ochre dot doesn't seem like a formless addition or it's a simple spot, the researchers wrote in a paper that appeared in the pages Archaeological and Anthropological Sciences. Instead of this it includes fingerprint suggests pigment suspension suggested specially applied the finger, which was soaked in pigment, they added. Fingerprint on the stone not it is visible. The researchers only noticed after a multispectral analysis. Stone with red dot was excavated from the layer of sediment dated to about 43,000 years, which was dug in the cave of San Lazaro near Sigauin in central Spain. Numerous stones were also found at this site tools and other artifacts. Researchers indicate that these settlements have been left deposited long before the arrival of modern people in this part it's the Iberian Peninsula. Stone drew attention to archaeologists working at the site immediately after mining in July 2022. Analyzing a little over 20 centimeters the length of the Otazic researchers determined that it was brought in place of excavations from a nearby river. Stone shows no signs that it was used as tool, which suggests it was seen as a non-use item about symbolic value, not functional. After a multispectral analysis, the researchers noticed that red the dot contains a fingerprint. Asked for help from forensic experts they confirmed that it was a complete fingerprint that probably belonged to a grown man. Researchers noted that the red dot is linked to the series natural depressions in the cloak and can resemble the face, with the eyes, the mouth, and a finger told in the shape of a nose. What's more, the pigment that it contained iron oxides and iron minerals, not found anywhere else in the cave or around it. This discovery enriches our knowledge of how Neanderthals have seen and interpreted the world. This object contributes to better understand the Neanderthal abilities for abstraction and perhaps representing one of the earliest symbols of the face, they admitted in publications by its authors. Our brains have a special talent for perceiving faces in inanimate objects, even though we know what we are looking at, he has no face. The face can be seen in the shape of a cloud, on a baked toast or in electrical outlets. This phenomenon is called pareidolia and makes it dead, inanimate objects seem to have facial features. It is not it takes a lot. The basic shapes of the eyes and mouth are enough that's all it is necessary to imagine that someone is looking at us. Seeing the face in everyday objects is very it's a common phenomenon. It refers to the way our brain functions. Research by researchers from the University of New South Wales in Sydney from five years ago they showed that we are processing these false faces using the same the visual mechanisms of the brain we use to recognize the real faces. Face Examination of stone with a fingerprint suggests that Neanderthals also tended to pareidolia. According to the author's publication, 
it cannot be ruled out that both Homo sapiens and an Homo neanderthalensis saw faces where they weren't, he has. It's no coincidence that the dot is where it is. It is not it has no markings indicating any other use of stone. Why then did Neanderthals bring this pebble from the river to the cave? What what more? There is no umber inside or outside the cave. So they had to bring the pigment from another place, said David Alonso, with Complutense University in Madrid.